Hello, today I'd like to show you the probably one of the most painless and easiest ways to run uh, ITK or VTK or WX Python or NumPy or Matplotlib using code on Windows and Linux and it's called the Divide Runtime Environment or the DRE. So what I have here for this demonstration here in fact is a very simple VTK example importing VTK, uh, creating a super quadratic source, we want to make a kind of a three-dimensional donut so I set its toroidal on method then I create a mapper to draw this and give it uh, the output of this generator uh, I then assign the mapper to an actor which will represent it in a 3D scene I create the 3D scene in fact add the actor to it create a render window which will just be the border around the scene the, well, just the window frame around it um, and finally I create a VTK render window interactor which will allow my user to uh, zoom and to rotate and then I start everything up by initializing creating the first render of the scene and starting uh, the render, inter render window interactor. So the biggest problem now is how do I actually run this because you find these examples, these Python examples but the big challenge is getting VTK uh, compiled and working on your system. So one uh, 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 shortcut for doing this is sidestepping all of that and just downloading the divide runtime environment which you can find uh, at this website address which I'll also put in the YouTube meta information. So if I go down here to the downloads page um, and then I arrive here at the Google code site for divide where you can obviously f also find the source code it's all open source and here you can download and install uh, the uh, relevant binaries for your system. So on this system I've installed the Windows 64 bit binaries um, and I'll now use the DRE to start this uh, simple Python example let me just uh, find uh, here is that Python example, it's called vtk1.py and then I'll use my um, I'll use my explorer to navigate um, to the divide or the DRE installation directory and then what I'll simply do is drag and drop this example onto the dre.cmd and once I do that it'll start up that vtk example and there's my donut, simple as that this means uh, I can use this exact, exact same principle to run any Python code that uh, is dependent on any of the libraries that the DRE supports and currently this includes ITK, VTK, NumPy, Matplotlib, WX Python. so it's a, just a very neat runtime engine for this type of scientific programming um, if you want to get uh, into the DRE the best way um, of invoking it in fact is looking at the command line so I'll just go to program files and then start up the DRE with the help parameter and that's what I can do with it so to get information about the versions uh, of software that it includes I can see uh, that currently we've got two Python 2.6.2 it's also got CMake in there, it's even got SWIG, uh, NumPy, Matplotlib, WX Python, VTK, ITK and also a DICOM loading library um, I can also start up my Python file by just invoking DRE on it so there we have that familiar donut, so instead of dragging and dropping I can just use the command line and just to give you an idea of what I will be doing in the next screencast I can also start up an interactive Python shell this is a text based one that in here I can play with all my libraries and, and instantiate classes and also find information about the methods therein oops, that's the wrong one so that gives me help about the file resolution. Thank you very much for watching and also make sure you get the next screencast on the divide render window. Uh, no, the divide runtime engine or the DRE. Thank you.